Today video I'm going to show you on how to obtain a free business email. As you all know before you can get business email you have to pay for some subscription fee but in this video I'm going to show you on how to obtain this business email for free. Whatever business you want to use it for you can use it to deliver um, emails and also connect it with some senders like um, Mailchimp you know, and a lot of senders that you can use to um, deliver email. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly do it to smash the subscribe button and turn on the notification. Also, like this video and um, if you have any question, kindly uh, do it to drop it at the comment section. I will uh, look at your question and I will answer all your questions. Um, without wasting much time, let's dive into the video. Name cheap. If you have any um, domain provider, you can also try to use the one that you have already. But for this video, I'm going to use Ninja because I already have a domain. I will go ahead and um, sign in. Now you can get a domain from this Ninja board. As for me, I've already got one domain before. I will just go ahead and click on account right here. Then you click on the domain list. This is the domain that I already have with Ninja. Now, once you have your domain with Namecheap or any uh, domain provider that you have, open your new tab and search for Zoo Zoo uh, Mail. Now click on Secure Business Email Hosting for your organization. Now you need to create account if you don't have any account before now we need to sign up after they need to agree to their terms of services now you can go ahead and sign up now they send me an otp i will need to um log into my gmail to get the otp this is the verification code right here I'll go ahead and um, go back to verify my account. Now, after you are done creating your account, the next thing you need to do is to scroll down right here. You will see the button below right here. You see, we also have a free plan. Don't you don't don't bother to click on any of this. Just click on this. Try number thing right done. Yeah, you click on add now. So, um, you connect the domain that you already have with your um domain provider. My own is this. I will go ahead and copy my domain name, which is notification dot fit. Okay. I provide it here. The name of my organization, I will just put it as a um, um, as John I will, because it's for personal use. And um, what I do is marketing and advertising. I click on add now. Once you are done that, you click on proceed to domain verification. Now you need to um, verify the ownership, the domain ownership. Now, you click on configure manually. Now we need to add our TXT record to our domain. Now you click on your domain provider, you click on manage right here. No matter the uh, domain provider that you are using, it's actually the same process. Click on manage. Now you need to come to advanced DNS right here to add the record, uh, TXT record. Um, you can delete the, if any um, record is here, you can just delete any record that you made here. We are not going to use this record. Now we need to add a new record to our domain, which is the TXT record. Right here, you go to your Zoom mail, 
um, you, you copy this value. That's when we are going to create TXT record and we leave the, uh, at the host section, we'll put add there. You come here, you click on add new record. You look for TXT record. This is it right here. At the host, you put add symbol and at the value, remember the value that we copied, you paste it. You leave it as automatic, then you save it. Once you are done, you come here to verify the record. Now, it has been verified. The next thing we need to do is to add some other record as well. Here, you create your username, the name you want before your domain. Um, and we just want minus admin. Although you can create multiple business email, but this will be for the default email, the primary business email. Now we need to come to this um, set of user. Remember, you can create um more business email right here by clicking on add user you fill in the first name last name the username and the password but let's just try to proceed to set up you don't need to do anything here just click on this mapping now you click on configure manually now we need to add this record on our domain the mx record then we put act now let's copy this value you call you return back to your domain you see this me setting right here you click on custom mx then you leave this as um add symbol you paste in the value that we copied the first value that we copied then you leave the priority as them save all changes now we need to add the other one which is the second one you copy the value as well you return back here and um add new record paste in add symbol and the value then you leave the parity as 30 then you save it now we need to add the third one click on add record again leave it as as you copy the value which is this one then we leave the parity as 50 save it Now we need to add um, another TXT record, which is the SPF. Now you need to click on this view SPS value to get the real value that you, for this um, domain. Now you click on copy, then you return back to your domain. Then you go back to the first place that we add the txt record you click on add new record again right here you select txt record you leave it as add then you copy you paste this value then you save it Now set up the DKIM also. Now copy this domain key instead of using this ad symbol. You copy this one. Um, you return back to your domain and add another TXT record. You paste it and you copy the value from here. 
So you paste it right here. Then you will save it. Don't worry if you need the guide to set up all these things. I will leave the link at the description. Now we are done with the record. You come back to Zoom, then you verify all this record. Remember, it take a while before it's verified. Where well, it's verified once. Now you need to proceed to the migration. You click on proceed to go to mobile then you click on proceed to set up action now we are done setting up this then click on this go to admin console now you need to click on this right here to take us to our our mail now it will log in us to our menu. Now this is our email right here. You can manage all the folders right here. And if you want to compose a message, you can click on the message right here. Now if you want to create multiple business email, you can just return back to dashboard right here and click on users. Click on user and then you can add another user so this is the um primary um, email business email now you click on add right here to add another one if you need another one that you want to add you fill in you put the username and the password then you can add the user From here, you can customize all the settings as you want. I hope you have learned a lot from the video. I also made a video on how to send uh, SMS from your uh, Gmail or whatever email that you are using, a uh, business email to a phone number. Maybe you want to send a message to uh, United States number and uh, you don't have a number yet. So you can actually use this email to send whatever message that you want to send. Kindly click on the video right here to watch it out. Have a nice day. Thank you.